Hello, this is Robert Malikian. Continuing installation of Oracle Rack NG Release 2 and CentOS 4 using VMware. In last session, we installed ASM and we'll continue installing the database now. Um, let's check uh, our installation and make sure that everything is running. And uh, before we continue with our database install. So we got ASM on one, listener is up, um, cluster parts are up, and similar sort of things on rack two as well. So if you start creating a DB, a database, using the standard interface, um, we just take it from there. I'm going to just do a basic um, database. Nothing. I'm not going to do any special um, Oracle application cluster. Create a database. I want to do on both nodes. We could create only on one if that's what we want to populate it later on. Um, let's do it custom. Um, let's call it back. That's what for the global name and see it is going to be rack. The default environment is good for there. Sys system password is normal. And the storage is ASM. And Here it comes. This is our three thirty gig ASM that we created before. That is correct, actually. Just go back, make sure that I've got it right. Yeah. I was a bit too quick on clicking next. Uh, Yes, we want that to be our storage. That's good. Um, do I want um, flashback? I'll leave flashback. I just enable archive log. That will allow us to do um, online backup. Um, Don't really need any of. I'll leave enterprise repository to be there. I don't need anything there. Um, actually, let's have a look at documentation. See to make sure that I'm. Not deviating too far from what they are suggesting. Yeah. 
to say send this is the incidence so far so good then turn that's good okay here is putting flashback on it's fast about that right there. Um, yeah. Where did he get that? Oh, I see. Maybe it's underneath there. It's taking the, the components. That's okay. That's fine. And next. Now here we could customize um, and make it smaller. Um, choose a proper character sets, but these sort of things are like during in a production environment. You know exactly what character sets you need, and you choose this um, these environments there, uh, environmental variables that will suit you. Um, it's just let it go that way um, and in here we could change as you know um, the locations mind you we can't really do anything because this is ASM I'm thinking of a normal database and you're welcome to browse in your own pleasure and uh, let's say create give us the usual HTML output and there we go. I will stop here and come back once um, it's actually done a bit of work. Okay, um, the database creation is completed. And let's just exit this. Starting. did click on it. It seems um, 10G is a little bit slower than 11G on VMware. But um, that's what you expect the newer version to be faster. Hmm. Taking a bit of time to go through. Usually one is not under any sort of time pressure to finish it as quickly as possible. But um, here I am watching the clock. saying why is it taking so long when it will take as long as it needs to take This is going to finish and the database will be created. It's just a matter of um, doing uh, what he's doing from underneath, um, starting up database and part. So we'll stop here and come back next session and actually test this database to make sure it is running. This is Robert Malikian uh, signing off.